Welcome to the celebration of the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time at All Saints Parish. As you watch this recorded Mass, we encourage you to participate as fully as you're able, to kneel if possible, stand where appropriate, and certainly to fully acclaim the responses. We also encourage you to light a candle in the space where you're watching this recorded Mass to remind ourselves that we are all called to be the light of Christ for each other. Thank you for joining us. sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day all creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the lord and on that day will justice triumph on that day we'll all be free free from what free from fear free to live on the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. Oh, give us eyes to see your glory. Give us hearts to understand. Let our ears hear your voice till you come on the day of the lord the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day all creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the lord welcome to our video mass here at all saints parish assisting us today are tina Schutte, our musician Leanne Hudson is our lector. Peggy Epley and Amy Eager will put this together so that you can view it whenever and wherever you may be. Thank you all for your service to us. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My friends, today we are celebrating the almost end of the church year. And during this time, we think of the last things and ask if we are ready to meet the Lord. Let's take a moment to reflect on that question. Lord Jesus, you know that we are never ready in our mind, but in your mind we are ready. With your mercy, you will see us through. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Oh, no. 
to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve faithfully the author of all that is good through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. And now, if you have your Bible handy, I would ask that you take it out and open it up to the book of the prophet Daniel. We're looking at Daniel chapter 12, beginning with verse 1. The book of the prophet Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And the prophet speaks here about the last days, reminds us that we are in the final days of human existence. These days began with Jesus' death and resurrection, so we've been in the last days for over 2,000 years now. How long it will go, we do not know. But he lets us know that his kingdom is better than all others because the other kingdoms come and go. His kingdom lasts forever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish such as never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. I take shelter in you, O oh God. My refuge and fortress Be my allotted and portion and come You alone are my joy You alone are my joy You are, O oh God, my inheritance I have all I need. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. Guide my journey through fire and strife. Prompt my heart in the darkness. Ever 
steadfast your way, ever steadfast your way. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. You will show me the path to life. Lead me onward to heaven. I delight in the fullness of joy, in your presence forever, in your presence forever. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. You are, O oh God, my inheritance. I have all I need. The next reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, beginning with verse 11. The letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 11. <clears throat> A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. Please go to verse 18. Where there is forgiveness of these sin and lawless deeds, there is no longer any offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. next reading is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, beginning with verse 24. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 24. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to his disciples about the end which is to come. In those days, after the time of suffering, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. 
from, from the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. About that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we are coming to the end of the church year. Next Sunday is the Feast of Christ the King. And then the following Sunday, November 28, is the first Sunday of Advent. And that begins a new year in the church. And as we face the end, the church, us, look to the end of time. to the end when Jesus will return in great glory. Some like to predict when that will happen. Some think it's happening any day now. Some will make predictions from time to time about the date, the time. Those days come and go and come and go and come and go. But they try to instill great fear in us. I myself begin to believe that the end may be a long ways off. The, in the gospel, Jesus says that the sun will be darkened. I understand that scientists predict that the sun will burn out in five billion years. Some say seven or eight billion. I tend to lean more in that direction because I think we have work to do. We have a job to do in the meantime, and it's going to take us a long time at the rate we're going. But we need to keep running the race. We need to be involved. There's a story about the movie made long ago about called Ben-Hur, directed by Cecil B. DeMille. The main character was Charlton Heston. And at the end of the movie, there is a chariot race. And Charlton needs to win the race. And Cecil B. DeMille wondered for a while whether he should have a stunt double lead the chariot to actually operate the chariot. But then he decided that Charlton Heston could do it. So Charlton went to driving school to learn how to drive four horses at the same time on a chariot, competing with other horses. And after some time, Charlton finally came to Cecil and said, Cecil, I think I can run the race, but I don't know that I can win. Cecil said, don't worry, you just run the race. I'll make sure you win. The wonders of cinematography took place and Charlton won. But in the meantime, we have lots of work to do. I believe that God wants this to be a perfect world and we're far from it. Some say we're getting better, some say we're getting worse. You can have whatever opinion you like. But he wants it to be a perfect world where there is peace and justice and love. And in order to do that, God decided that he would not do it by himself. God decided that we need to work together, us and God. And so he's waiting for us to get cracking. I think we need to do lots of works of charity and justice 
I'm reminded of a story of a British girl named Juliet. I can't remember her last name now. It's a complicated mouthful. Anyhow, Juliet, at age 22, felt that God was telling her to become a missionary. And so after a little preparation, she packed a bag and took a 10-pound note, which wasn't very much money, I don't think, and boarded a ship to China. She came to a city called Kowloon, a part of Hong Kong, as I understand, and God told her, this is your new home. So she deboarded and began to visit the streets of the city. And she told many people about Jesus, about God. She visited with gangs, with addicts, with prostitutes, with many people. And over time, brought thousands of people to Jesus. And at one point, she was interviewed by a Christian magazine from the Great Britain and asked if Great Britain should be sending more missionaries. And Juliet said, I believe everybody is a missionary. People do it different ways, different places, different times. But everybody is called to be a missionary. But I fear that very few people pay attention to that call. Very few people are involved. Very few people join with God to make this a better place. And we look to eternity. This life is just a mere flesh. But eternity lasts forever. And if I had not taken up this call, I figure that I would have wasted this life and the new life lasts forever. And I would hate to think of myself as a failure forever. So God is asking us to be involved, and I, I believe we probably all are in various ways, but maybe we need to be more involved. Maybe we need to be doing more things to bring justice to this land, to show works of charity, and thereby show Jesus' love for all of his people, especially the poor and the helpless. So let's just take a few moments to think about what precisely God is calling us to do. We believe that God wants to work with us to better this world, and he's waiting for us to move. Let us profess that faith together using the Apostles' Creed. We believe, we believe in, in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and, and earth. We, we believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, crucified died, died, and was buried. He descended, he descended to the, the dead. dead. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Heighten our awareness, Lord God, to see your presence and the movement of your spirit in the day-to-day -day events of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. When our world feels, feels as though it is crumbling around us, fill us with the faith to trust that your grace will carry us and to look to the better world coming, coming about by the power of that same grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have fallen into despair, restore them in hope and inspire them to act in a positive direction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Inspire our nation's leaders to, to collaborative effort that will place our country on a firmer foundation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those caught in war and civil unrest, Grant them hope and move the rest of us to generous action to relieve their hunger and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our sick, give them spiritual strength to persevere and restore them to health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those who have passed on from this world, especially Tricia Frudenberg and all whom we remember in love, Receive them into your heavenly presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask that you hear these prayers and all the prayers in our hearts. Answer us as you see best. Help us accept your answer to our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We believe that God gives us all good things. And now we take some of these things that God has given us, a small parcel, and offer them back to God as our way of saying thanks. Oh, Cree. 
creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Pray, friends, that our sacrifice <clears throat> may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, that what we offer you in your sight may offer for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain for us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For out of compassion for our waywardness, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. This is the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy and the people of God. Remember Theresia Freudenberg and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. to the deep Though our senses fail Your graces still prevail We become the love that we receive Unworthy though we are, you feed the hungry heart with bread come down from heaven above. And like a grain of wheat, we fall down at your feet, dying here with you, oh let us rise. and 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. As you saw the resurrection.
you say I'll stay. You're lighting up my future. You're lighting up my faith. You're lighting up my wonder with endless grace. You're lighting up my failure. You're lighting up my fears. Everything I've carried over all these years. You light the way. You light the way with a fire by night and a cloud by day. You light the way. You light the way. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. You light the way.